Buenos dias, compadres. <laughs> My father used to call me Speedy Gonzales when I was a little kid. Plug into that little battery, right? What was it, the Energizer Bunny? The pink Energizer Bunny? I have a pink heart, no doubt about that. Running green, emerald green. Uh, so what prompted to do this one? Uh, a couple of things. Um, one of which is uh, because if you love to learn, you're always asking questions, okay? Particularly when you're in a place where you're not experiencing love everywhere you go, right? So I was always asking a lot of questions, and then the experience becomes a teacher, which is a feedback of what's happening in your mirror, which is based on the speed, which is a torque differential speed between artificial intelligence and a soul that's very intelligent and creative, right? So you know that an AI cannot create anything out of thin air with a soul. So when you start with that, that's pretty simple when you're a child. So what I was thinking this morning is that, because um, I've, I've done this in the past, right? Because all you got to do is look back at my videos over the course of a couple of years, and they've shut my accounts down. The other two that I have were shut up because they, the AI just completely disabled my camera device. Because it doesn't want that information to be experienced by other experiencers from which they can learn if they have questions. So the more, if you want to think of this as a, the technical aspect of this or how bands work or band width, the width of the wave, which is your consciousness, which is based on your soul and your spirit. Why it is that certain channels, if you will, or websites or Facebook groups, um, have larger numbers of units of energy, which are units of consciousness that find these channels. And because I figure most people know that the universe isn't like a, a gazillion ping pong balls bouncing all over the inside of a clothes dryer, right? And not knowing how to communicate with each other. Okay. <laughs> cell membranes, living cell membranes are conscious units of energy. The elementals, so that's why I communicate with every single cell in my body to heal it, and it works. That's how I do it. I don't, I don't, because I move so fast and because I don't really ever have an address where I can order something that I might need, that I might benefit from, or being in certain places where I can haul around crystals with me, or a phone where I have access. Most of the places that I go to to do what it is that I do, which is energetic work, there isn't any cell phone service. There isn't any mailbox. Right. So it's, in other words, I got to use my own equipment, which is this, which is my heart and soul. So I already knew that as a child. I figured, man, if I needed anything extra than what I already am as a monopole, I guess I didn't learn fast enough because I already realized if I was a child and I was going to school, why would I want to waste a thousand lifetimes going to teachers that I'm not learning fast enough? Let's get let's just cut right to the trace because I want to experience the creator itself. The grand creator, if you will, which is Adam, because Adam vibrated at the highest speed of an infinite love vibration. Yeah, I want to learn from that because, you know, that that's forever. So I want to learn how to be forever. And the easiest way to learn how to be forever is to forever be in service. So if your soul is willing to be forever in service, which is what happened to me, I became a mated chip. And that's a monopole. And when that happens, when your soul chooses to do that. That means you're willing to slam the door behind you. You are no longer seeking energy from anybody, which means you're not ever going to hold any energy captive. That's why I don't put leashes, dogs, or anything in cages. I, I can't do that. I want to experience what, if you will, energy in a free state, which is spirit in a free state, which is an element in a spiral spirit, which is in a free state, which means water's in a free state, you're in a free state, I'm in a free state. And love is what frees you. That's as basic as I know. And that's what they fear. See, they fear us. The greatest panic that they have is for you to be a free spirit in your mirror. Because now they cannot control you. And the reason that they cannot control you is based on energy. Okay. They're going in the other direction. We're going in the other direction. East gate, west gate, right? Two poles on the planet. That's called a ladder. You're climbing a ladder, otherwise known as a stairway to heaven. The easiest way to get through the stairway of heaven is be at the higher vibrational speed to get through the gate that takes you to heaven. That's the helix. 
which is the higher octave. That's the female side. That's the flower side. That's otherwise known as the crown lay crown chakra, right? I used to call myself a flower child when I was a child. And I said, hey, what radio station are you running? I said, flower power, baby. <laughs> okay. I love flowers because I'm a pollinator in the flower, right? Birds and the bees. Yeah, the birds and the bees. In, in other words, I didn't need my parents to teach me about the birds and the bees. You already know. Okay, so what I was really going to cover here is... Um, Okay, I just just asked a simple question. How come I don't have a lot of subscribers? I've never had a lot of subscribers. Okay, well, I'll explain that sort of in what we call the reverse engineering way to describe that. Okay, there are no coincidences. When you're on a learning pathway or you're on a spiritual pathway, you are going to learn what you're supposed to learn when you're supposed to learn it because of the pathway that you're on to learn what you're supposed to learn in order to protect what you are, which is your shield. That means that the universe is consciousness energy, and it realizes what you are in energy with your soul, so you have a co-relationship with Adam. Yep, and Eve. So that's Neo and Trinity in the Matrix. So that's why everything that I'm experiencing, no matter where I am, I implicitly trust my journey because I am what love is. So whatever I'm experiencing at the moment I'm experiencing is exactly what I'm supposed to experience and the reason I'm supposed to be experiencing it. So I don't ever question that energy because i realize how intelligent creation energy is real creation energy not virtual artificial simulations or sim cards or sim plots sim plants implants right which means we're not fake so in other words i know what true love is which is unconditional which means if you're standing 20 feet away you'll be able to experience that vibration because that being over there is running at a very high level of vibration right okay so this is why for example um when was it eight or nine years ago all of a sudden it's like a self prompt go here look at this look at that look at that and that means an experience now i'm going to experience the communication of somebody else who is what a communicator and what are they doing they're informing me of what they're aware of in energy okay so what do you what's going on Share with me what you're experiencing, what you're communicating to me, and informing me of what's going on with you. Okay? Now I know, now I'm aware of what you're aware of. So it's not a coincidence, forever, for example, at a very specific time. In other words, when there isn't any time, but you are, are experiencing somebody that is, if you will, in a time space or a vector, which means now I'm aware of you, you're aware of me. And so, therefore, we're communicating with each other. Okay, so what's the reason we're, we're communicating with each other? There must be a reason for this in higher intelligence, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation, right? There has to be some higher purpose for which this communication or this experience is being experienced in your mirror, right? So, Patty Broussard called that coursework. If you already learned something, why would you need to learn that again? You think the universe is that intelligent? So now we get into calculators. This is why when I was a child, I realized, okay, I got a cal it's simple arithmetic, the addition and the subtraction. What do you want to hold in RAM? I had a beautiful conversation with Aaron last night. And, and uh, you know, this is when you get into the RAM side of things. And we had a long conversation about RAM. And I said, hell, Aaron, because he was telling me I had a photographic memory. And he says, it's both a curse. Okay. I said, yeah, I know, because I had a photographic memory when I was a child. And I had a couple of bad head injuries. And which meant that, you know, I could, it's what is called total recall, right? And why is it a curse? Because it means you don't want to hold certain things in memory, right? That don't represent what love is. Or if you will, being in perfect balance at magnetic zero between negative magnetic polarity and positive magnetic polarity. Westgate and Eastgate. Underworld is Westgate. Eden, which is the stairway of heaven, is the Eastgate because now you're vibrating at high enough speed to be able to get through the gate. If you can't get through the gate because you're not vibrating at the higher rate of speed with the stairway to heaven with your ladder you're not climbing that ladder which is the higher octave of the female see <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i love to be with the flower i'm giving the girl flower I mean, you're giving the girl love so her flower is always in bloom so when you chose to be mated it means you have the flower side of who you are so you know that you're mated you love to be in the presence of a goddess so you're always giving you're always romancing her right because you know she's the birth giver 
So the wisdom of a girl, because you know that the female is going to always protect her children from which the father mated with her, the seed, right? Yeah. Okay, so so when you sort of scale this up, you begin to see, because you can calculate this, the native Indians and in clans, okay, who possess within their library, which is the ram, ancient ancestral spiritual knowledge, right? So you know that there's an enormous amount of knowledge that these people hold because we're the natives here. So now you get into the natives and the non-natives and the knowledge of what they're informing people of, of what's going on, because now you're talking about a state of higher awareness. And these is where the bands come in, 144,000 bands of the 12 by 12, which is the 12 strand DNA, which is pH 12. That's 1200 megahertz. <laughs> That's how higher consciousness knows where higher consciousness is because you're in a communication system. So, you know, it, it's like, you know where to find them because your antenna is picking up on their antenna. So, you know where to go intuitively to find somebody else that's running at a higher level of frequency, which is a higher level of consciousness, which means that their soul is vibrating at a higher rate of speed. So now, now you get into the equal, what's known as the equilibrium states, which is the water world states. Right. Where if you're at zero, it means that your waves are in harmony and balance, which basically means your antenna is plugging into another radio set. And those equilibrium states mean that those waves are in harmony with each other. There's no distortions because I'm a polarity integrator, which means I remove all the distortions and bring them back to magnetic zero, which is zero ohms, which is the law of least effort. Which means there's no effort in being what it is that I am. <laughs> okay. So you're learning energy mechanics. Energy, what I call it, information management or visual information management, codes, code talkers. And so this is why beings that are running a higher state of consciousness will naturally know, already know where to go to find other people that are sharing what it is they're experiencing because this is how higher intelligence protects the universe. Okay, it's you bands, the speed of the wave. Okay. So this is why I posted a comment and this guy that, that travels to all these different neighborhoods and he was showing the difference between, for example, people that live in Brentwood and people that were living in the other places that are economically disadvantaged, like East LA, Compton, and that, because I grew up in those neighborhoods. I lived in Brentwood right next to Beverly Hills. So I told him it's real simple. Okay, they accumulate, they see, they see their success through fame and fortune, which would be a stage. So they live in these big mansions, driving these cars that cost 240,000 bucks. Okay, so these what are called accumulators. Okay, so you know they're going in the opposite direction because they can never catch up to zero because they keep acquiring more and more and more and more electrons. And where do you think those electrons are coming from? The photons that are kicking them out. So these aren't energy givers. Okay, because... They're not showing these other people that live in East L.A. or downtown Los Angeles or Chinatown or any of the outer neighborhoods where people are having to work 16 hours a day. Uh, they might have everybody in the house that's all working just to be able to put a roof over their head. While five blocks away, you're looking at a mansion that costs a million and a half bucks. And these people are driving around where they don't have to worry about having any money for everything that they acquire. That's a major divide. That divide is the divide between Eastgate and Westgate. So you already know their future. That's called the underworld, which is 1D, 2D. What is 1D, 2D? That's a cross, right? Vertical line, horizontal line. Now you add another dimension, if you will, to that, like 3D. Now you got an XYZ scatter plot. So you know that somebody that's running is called an outlier. And that's called a glitch in the matrix. You're bringing a hell of a lot of light in here, man. So what ends up happening, the system begins to break down. And all of a sudden, Mr. Smith shows up. Keep your mouth shut. That's why I knew as a child. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your ear to the ground. Trust no one. Even though I implicitly trust the energy I am because I am a love this. So I know the relationship that I have with the center point of a cross, right? Which is zero, which means I'm in perfect balance as a mated chip. So I'm always experiencing what love is, which is my vibrational core frequency, which is otherwise known as your core identity, your soul's identity, which is the energy that is represented by what you are in energy. So you're bringing higher energy into wherever you go. 
So you already know that your antenna, which is your operating system, which is your supercomputer, is always going to be under attack. So you're choosing what to put in memory, what not to put in memory. So as I mentioned to him last night, we had a beautiful conversation about that. So it's like running a library. I says, my God, everything that I was learning as a child, most of that crap I've already offloaded. I don't even remember half that crap, which means a lot of biology, a lot of chemistry and everything else, because I said, man, you're, you're running through so many different libraries because so much information is being processed by so many things that are happening simultaneously. It's ridiculous. Right. Because you're always maintaining zero. So that means that you're able to compile and compute, if you will, an enormous amount of information in order to maintain what? Zero. Balance. So you're rotating basically databases like crazy because you're connected to so many different databases. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> that are all experiencing themselves because the database of information is consciousness. Experiencing itself based on codes. So now you get into the algorithm side of this stuff, right? So what I realized is, is that I'm not going to get a lot of subscribers. Because how many people do you know that operate at zero all the time, right? So they're, they're naturally, in other words, the universe is intelligent enough to know because you're an intelligent being. So whatever it is that is your pathway, and I knew this as a child, your pathway is your pathway and my pathway is my, is my pathway. Why is it that there are certain beings that found my channel? How do they find my channel, right? Because they were supposed to find that channel. That means it was part of their life book to experience me communicating to them. Okay, so I don't, I never expected to get a lot of subscribers. Why? Because that's too simple to figure out. Okay, between, if you will, natives and non-natives, or people that are going in one direction or another direction, they're not interested in what I have to say. They're only interested in what they have to say, which means it's all about self. Okay, so when you are what love is and you've chosen to serve forever, it's always going to be about all the others. That's what it means to be in love and service to others. And that's where you get into having love, compassion, and empathy for others. Because you're going to experience the pain and suffering that others experience. And I can't stand to experience anything that is alive and living in nature experiencing a loss of energy. That's, I've mentioned this before. I had this experience when I was nine years old, and this is what really shook me up about you know self-discovery about yourself when I'm like eight, nine years of age, experiencing somebody who was being pulled out of a wreck on a gurney that was wrapped in a blanket back in the days when they were wearing white shirts and throwing them into what looked like a hearse car, right? We used to call them meat wagons. I was experiencing the loss of bioplasma and that being sitting in my father's car riding shotgun. And it shook me up. My central nervous system just is like an electrical shock. And that's called hematologic shock, which is blood shock from the loss of voltage that that being was experiencing in them. I was experiencing in me. Whoa. Because we're all connected. See how that works? And that's what it means. We're all connected. So there are certain beings, for example, that are going to learn or they're seeking to learn that connect to certain places in their consciousness based on their soul or their spirit knows where to go, will be led in spirit. If you have a living spirit in you that's integrated with your soul, you will be led by spirit with your soul to certain places that you go to so there's no coincidence. So if you ended up on my channel, just like I ended up on others' channels, it's not a coincidence that I'm supposed to experience what I'm supposed to experience at the moment I experience it because there are no coincidences. The universe of consciousness was souls and spirit is highly intelligent energy. And the biggest driver that I experience, because experience is a teacher, is creativity. Creativity is actually the greatest acceleration of the highest intelligence in the universe, is it's on fire to create things. Because it's experiencing what love is as it's creating that experience. And that's what really intensifies the amount of fire that you have to expand a universe of possibilities which are infinite because that's an infinite love vibration. That's Adam and Eve together forever. Have a great day.